Hey guys, so this is Dr. Mithil Shah and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. First of all, thank you each and every one of you for spreading so much love, so much affection. We have reached more than 1600 subscribers and I am really very thankful to you all uh, because I was off since six months on YouTube and you guys were there giving me so much love, so much queries. Uh, and here back I am with uh, a lot of knowledge to share with you guys. So uh, many doubts pouring in. Uh, so I will straight away start with my YouTube video. Uh, so which field to select? Either oral surgery, cons, endo, prosto or orthodontics. I would first like to start with orthodontics myself because I am doing orthodontics in YCM Dental College Ahmednagar. So uh, why orthodontics? Why should you select orthodontics as a field of choice or when you should think that you should select uh, orthodontics as a field of choice? So I would say you should select orthodontics as a field of choice only first thing if you like the subject. See, whatever you learn in undergraduation, you are going to apply in post-graduation and there are n number of things. Uh, I would say the undergraduation was only 5% of orthodontics. The entire 95% of the orthodontics lies in the post-graduation and the future when you are going to practice this orthodontics. So, uh, orthodontics you will select first when you like uh, the subject. Secondly, if you were good in your wire, band, uh, wire bendings, uh, because when it comes to orthodontics, it's all about wire bendings and how you give your appliances and uh, device. So it all depends upon your wire bendings. Okay. Uh, and uh, orthodontics is not just about, you know, uh, orthodontics is not just about uh, giving brackets, ceramic brackets or aligners. It's about, it's more than that. And orthodontics can completely analyze the amount of study, amount of growth remaining in the patient and he can give different uh, n number of uh, appliances to the patient so that you know uh, uh, the you know the uh, outcome or the skeletal changes which he can bring is enormous. Also we can see the uh, vertebrae and we can come to know uh, the amount of growth remaining in the patient. We also see the hand brush radiographs and we come to know uh, whether which growth spurt is to be caught. If the pubertal growth spurt is remaining whether we can catch it and we can modulate the growth of the patient of maxilla and mandible. We can also do orthognathic surgeries if the growth is completed and if the patient is willing we can go for orthognathic surgeries, we can go for lay foot. You would be the one who will be guiding an oral surgeon how to do the surgery or basically you would be doing the analysis required for the surgical case. Uh, so this would be the reason if you are interested you should go for the uh, subject orthodontics. Uh, secondly talking about prosthodontics which is the most common field where people get confused whether to take or not. I would say uh, when I compare an oral surgeon, uh, oral surgeon doing an implant a uh, periodontist doing an implant and a prosthodontist doing an implant. Uh, it's my personal opinion, I'm not biased about any of the fields, but let me tell you, giving an FMR, that is a full mouth rehabilitation case of implants with a proper amount of occlusion is, is better when it comes to a prosthodontist. So uh, if you're interested in giving implants, if you're interested in giving the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the maxillofacial prosthesis, if someone's eyes is missing, someone's hands or thumbs are missing, or someone's ears are missing, and you want to replace uh, those maxillofacial prosthesis, you can definitely go for prosthodontics. And prosthodontics is not just about complete dentures, removable partial dentures or fixed partial dentures. It is much more than what you think. Coming about, uh, talking about uh, endodontics, uh, which is not uh, my field, but definitely when it comes to endodontics, one thing that comes in mind is root canal treatments. Uh, but it's not just about root canal treatments, let me tell you. It's also about post and core, it's also about aesthetics, it's also about bleaching, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's complete, it's about veneers, uh, it's about epicectomies. So, um, and patient when he comes to a clinic, there are two cases, one is either extraction or the second is either root canal treatment. Uh, so when it comes to root canal treatment, an endodontist is a better root canal uh, treat, uh, he can treat and root canal treatment better. I'm not saying that an BDS cannot do it, 
PDS with a proper practice and form in his clinic, he can also do a very good root canal treatment. So it would be your call completely, your choice uh, whether to do and uh, endo or not, whether to choose it as a field or not. Now talking about oral surgery, my personal opinion to you all is very first thing, if you have a family backup. If you have someone in your family or relation who has his own hospital set up, uh, after doing an oral surgery, you can join there and you can start with the cases. Or uh, uh, if not, then if you're doing from a very good uh, government dental college, that is Maulana Azad, Ames, government dental colleges, Naya Dental Colleges, government dental college Mumbai, then you are at your peak because you're going to learn n number of things over there and once you come out, you will start getting cases. But opposite way around even if you are in good private colleges uh, you will have to you know be under a senior person uh, who will guide you for two to three years and uh, there is a struggle so three things you need to keep in mind if you want to do oral surgery one is you need to have that much passion for the subject second you need to have you need to give time to this subject to grow and third is you need to have money see uh, <coughs> this is the most uh, drawback wala part uh, about oral surgery so uh, i hope you guys have liked this video i have made it very short and crisp so that everyone can get through it uh, and if you like the video do share subscribe with your friends and do recommend my channel thank you so much